I have a Conin Cable Systems VFL 350 in my hand here. It's not as complex as an OTDR, but it will definitely help you out on a job while trying to diagnose where faults are. This is a class 2 laser device operating at 635 nanometers, producing a red visible light. You do not want to stare directly at the beam, just to be safe. It's a pen-like device. It's easy to carry around. One other thing it will definitely help you do is determine if a link is continuous. For instance, I plug in the red light on one end and look on the other end. I can see a red light, then that means the link is continuous. If the light is absent, either look elsewhere or the link is broken. A common problem that we have on a job sometimes is tr being able to trace jumpers. While modern systems can trace jumpers for you, uh, if you arrive on the job and you do not know where a jumper terminates, well, this guy will come in handy. So. I'll turn mine on. As you can see, there's a pulsing light. I can flick the little switch here, and I can get a steady beam. So I will plug in this connector to this end here. And again, I just let it in just a little bit of the way here. I have a bunch of jumpers here. And again, there is no problem with uh, single mode going into multi-mode fiber. It works out. And I will look on the other end here and try and find the jumper that I'm looking for. So by pointing these jumpers to this black surface here, I don't see a light off of those ones. I don't see a light there. Ah, I see a light. Another thing that the VFL would help you determine is if you have a broken splice. Let's say on my splice tray here, I have a couple of splices connected to one of these panels, so I should have a continuity through all the fibers here. So I will plug my VFL into one of these ports. And try to determine the integrity of one of these splices. As you can see, the orange one is broken. The telltale red light lets me know that my splice is broken and I need to uh, figure out what to do to remediate that. In the case of an unbroken splice, as can be seen here, the light courses through the fiber and shows up on the other end. Another use for VFL is determining polarity uh, in systems that use multifibers, you know, dual fibers, A and B. Um, sometimes you may arrive on a job and you do not know what polarity scheme was used. So for instance, let's say I got here and I have a multi-fiber system here. I can easily plug my connector into one of these modules here. I know there's a trunk connecting that module to this one over here and I can find out where the fiber ends up, which is in port number 19 in this case. In times of confusion, it's easy to determine which fiber is a transmit, which is a receive, just using the VFL. Now, another thing that you can use a VFL for is trying to determine if you have a broken connector in the back of the housing. And I have one here. My VFL plugged into the right port. I can see there's a blinking light on the back here indicating a broken fiber. Some connector installation system use the VFL to reduce scrap rates. This is how that works. I'm using the Coning Cable Systems Unicam CTS system here. The light is channeled through the fiber and into the connector body here. If the connection is good, the light courses through the connector body and into the fiber being terminated. In the case of a bad connection, the light will leak out around the connector body and you can use that as a visual clue for a good connection versus a bad connection, thus reducing scrap rates. So if you have any questions, please give us a call or send us an email at cablesystems at corning.com. And remember, Corning Cable Systems recommends getting training fiber optic installation. We offer a series of classes, of course, and we thank you.